What's going on, Mellow Squad? This is your host, Mellow Hosh. I'm back with another sneaker review. So this video is gonna cater more to my Mellow Squad sneaker heads. Uh, if y'all sneaker head out there and y'all already know what time it is, this is the video right here. Um, if you are a diverse sneaker head, you already know what time it is because that's exactly what this video is also about also because this is like a different brand of a sneaker all right existing brand i don't know how long they've been around but they out so uh yeah let's get into it all right mellow squad right now uh we will be discussing a new silhouette a new uh sneaker that i just uh, added to the collection um, these going to need to be my to-go sneakers. I see myself making a lot of memories in these. Um, yeah, I'm a bit hype, <laughs> if y'all can't tell already. But, um, yeah, I say that because the colorway is that traditional black and white with a hint of gray, aka 3M, um, reflective and all that stuff. So, you really can't go wrong with this type of colorway, all right? So... Let's take a look at these. All right. Look at how that look. Just look at it like the outsole traction definitely kind of got that runner type of traction, kind of kind of uh waffly, kind of kind of wa wa waffly kind of like a Nike or whatever like that. But uh yeah, this brand is called Diadora, all right? Diadora. Now um, if y'all haven't checked out my video, I already made before, but I, this is my second pair. I will leave the video right there. Uh, that was my first pair of the Diodora. And if you watch the video, you know that I had a hard time pronouncing this brand of sneakers or whatever. So, um, yeah, turn to find out it's called Diodora. A uh, buddy of mine actually invested in this company early on before they actually took off. So, uh, he told me that's how it's pronounced in sound. I'm like, all right, cool. So, anywho, um, I had to swing back around and get me another pair of these because the first pair, um, they are great. They are good looking shoe, comfortable shoe. I like it. I actually like the workout in it. And you know, when you're working out, you're not necessarily messing up the sneaker and none of that stuff. So you can work out and look fresh in them. Uh, but the only issue is they run big, okay? So I got them in a nine. And at first when I was in the sneaker store and wearing them, they felt a little decent. And of course the material have to break in. So that's when things get a little tricky. Once the material break in, it loosen up just a little bit. And then boom, you have more space in this shoe a little bit so that being said it was just it wasn't floppy big at all none of that stuff it was just a slight kind of like insecure uncomfortable type of big like i just like uh i don't i don't think i could just sit around walking in these you know my feet felt big and look all wonky to me and all that stuff i'm like i need to go get me another pair of these but go down half a size so um if you particularly wear a nine, I would say in Nikes, and if you wear a lot of uh, Jordan brand stuff and um, Air Max stuff, uh, I recommend, you know, going down half a size in these because you have more of like a narrow -y foot, not so flat foot that you have to go in a bigger size like a nine. So more narrow foot people go down half a size, wide foot people go true to your size because um, these fit really true to size on wide foot people. Now, for those who don't know this brand, I don't know much about it. So, you know, take it, take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt, but the Diodora brand is a foreign brand. It's an Italian brand. So I'm imagining that the foot shape is a little bit different than American uh, uh, size foots and all that stuff. That's probably why, you know, the, the, you want to make sure you try these things on and again, narrow foot go down half a size because the material is kind of like, it, it fit, it, it, it put on well and the foot, you know, uh, the last that they use is pretty good. It's just the only issue is like, you know, the, 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 this upper piece of the upper it's kind of like bulky. It's kind of like a boot. You get what I'm saying? And most of these sneakers is kind of like that. You don't get too much of a sleek upper that's kind of like compressing to the top of your foot that us American uh, consumers is used to when it comes to these bigger brands. 
So that's one thing you want to really watch out for with these. That's why going down half a size probably might be your better shot because, you know what I mean, it's closer to your foot. But, you know, if you go true to your size, you will have to worry about that open toe, upper toe dead space. And that's the issue that was going on with the other pair. But I'm glad that I went in the sneaker store the other day, got me another pair of these. And um, they didn't necessarily have my size, so I had to put in an order to get uh, these sent to my house. And I think that might just be the case, like, moving forward with the sneaker stores. Because if they don't have my size, and then they do offer, like, free shipping and all that, and the discounted price, like, I didn't have to pay full price and none of that stuff. Man, screw that, man. I'm, I'm about to do that all the way. I just went to the mall, like, two days ago, and I got it today. So, that's that's awesome. That's really awesome. But again, I like the Diodora brand because the material is dope. And speaking of that, check out the material right there. This suede is very hairy, as y'all can see, and it's kind of got a little ash to it. I'm not a big fan of that. I got to, you know, eventually when it gets a little more, more ashier, I'm going to have to clean that up. But the materials on these things is always fire, like good quality material. You got hairy suede up here, too. Um, again, the overlays is 3M plasticky, so, you know, that's not really premium or whatever, but that's just how 3, 3M work. You also have a sneaker tag right here. Um, I don't know exactly what this says. It says, um, uh, I can try my best. Community Link, uh, 2021, they just started, um, something. This, this... This font is terrible, but, you know, you got uh, approved. So I think that's a cool addition to the sneaker. I'm actually going to switch it to the opposite side so it can be more showy instead of medial side or whatever. But um, the laces is the rope laces, 3M also, as y'all can see. The tongue right here is pretty nice. It's not no super oversized, padded, thick-ass tongue. You get a sleek uh, Deodora tongue, and then you have a little bit of the inside lining sticking out and i think that is a nice touch the inside is not extra cushiony i would say this is more for a lifestyle purpose not really too much performance or you know what i mean more performance type sneakers does have more ankle cushion to help you perform better but yeah these don't have too much ankle support whatsoever just standard uh cushion or whatever the inside is very standard when it comes to comfortability so don't expect anything extremely comfortable like air maxes and ultra boots and whatever like comfortable sneaker that have this nice supreme cushion system built into them um but i will assure you that these things is more comfortable than average lifestyle sneakers that don't have much cushion at all so it do have a minimal of cushion that will keep your feet very comfortable for the time being this is not a long standing shoe so i don't recommend that you just walk around standing in these things um i recommend that you have an outing to particularly go to where you occasionally relax your foot your feet and you know what i mean just really show these things off instead of just like walking around and all that stuff this is not the sneaker for that um the midsole is very standard i don't know exactly the type of materials inside the midsole but again it's very standard um it's pretty firm so don't expect again crazy cushion when it comes to the midsole support that is too uh the outsole is very durable that's one thing i do like about this brand um they make their outsoles very durable, and I like that. It's not like a damn Nike or Adidas that, you know, they outsole is wear out so fucking quickly, even if it's a lifestyle. So, yeah, I do like that about these for sure. Um, but, yeah, this, this particular silhouette is designed for performance, I believe. I have to check the website, the um, you know, to really check it out or whatever like that. Um, but yeah, the Diodora is definitely a performance brand. They make uh these sneakers for like tennis players and and et cetera, et cetera. But particularly, I have noticed tennis and all that stuff. So these are a bit performancey. But I don't believe like these this colorway alone was like designed for performance. I think it says something about Raekwon. I think this actually is a collab. I just noticed. On a box, it says Raekwon right here. So I think this is a collab. And as y'all can see, the box is Galaxy. I think that's pretty dope with like the black um, box out or whatever right there. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think, Mellow Squad, about these Diodoras right here. Again, I recommend you try these on in store first. 
And I, I even if they do feel good, go down half a size. Trust me, um, you won't regret it because once these these materials break in, you're gonna be like, damn man, I should have went down. But yeah, y'all let me know how those sneakers, you know, look to y'all and how y'all like the video, whatever like that. Y'all stay tuned for more uh videos of the Diodoras because I have more of that coming soon. I have another pair that I plan on going back to the mall a few days from now and copping. So y'all stay tuned for that uh video too. All right. But thank y'all, Mellow Squad, for tuning in and you know uh supporting the channel and giving me love with all that. I appreciate that. Y'all have a good evening. Until next time. Mel Hosh out. Peace.